Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here. And oh my god. First thing we do when we finally come back to some Super Mario RPG, and that's a fight against some of the troops of Valentina. So I guess we're stuck in this fight. And Peach is probably gonna die. But yes, uh, I got a new microphone. I'm recording on my PC, which recently got fixed. Oh my god, they're all faster than us. Please no. Uh, let's just Geno flash them. Yeah, and Geno becomes a cannon. I'm not sure if I shut this one off, actually. I don't know, hopefully uh, we can take care of the rest. Really? It didn't kill? Oh my god. Yeah, we're finally back from some Super Mario RPG. And it looks like we're on the chase right now, from what I recall. And also we are also pretty much... I'm not sure if we're under-leveled or over-leveled. Oh boy. Come back for Mario. Alright, let's see. There we go, we got the timing right. I believe I did mention this prior, that the, uh... The way to revive fully is by getting the star with on the right timing with it. And there goes Peach. Yeah, I like I love these weapons compared to to what we had prior because those weapons were kind of I just couldn't deal with them honestly. All right, let's give the chase. Yes, oh my, was I just standing on one? Oh my god, so yeah, over there you actually get into a fight with Dodo if you uh, don't uh, hit him with the star, but if you do, you kill him. And oh, those are two things that we need to collect later. And those are also two things we need to collect later. Right now, Prince Mal is bathing in the hot springs. It must be so relaxing. Only royalty could enter. I guess, I mean, we kind of just passed through them. Oh boy, Valentino's running. Hold on. <coughs> oh my god. Queen Valentina. Queen Valentina, is the king showing any improvement? And how's his wife, the old queen? And Tubby, uh, Prince Mallow, where is he hiding these days? Know what I think? I think, get out of here, that's what I think. Get out of here, the truth is... I think... Oh my god, this is getting way too fast. Ah! Pipe down, all of you! I have better things to do than to listen to half your half-wit opinions. And look why I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter. Mario has managed to find me. Dodo? Dodo! Oh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp. Dodo, do you hear me? Get over here now! I need some help entertaining Mario. So move it, come here now! And... Oh but my god, her, she does not look anything like her overworld sprite. Dodo! Dodo! Come here this minute! Don't just sit there, help me! And Dodo's a lot smaller than we thought. She, she, oh, well, there goes Gino. And it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. 
Dodo versus Gino. So he'll always pick, I believe, the middle party member, so. Flutter Hush. Oh my god, Max Shroom. Oh, we got a free B nice. He's doing multi strike again. I don't know why he could attack twice though. I guess not. I guess he could just do a special. Ugh. Another max room. And he flees. Alright. And now we could get back to the actual fight, which is Valentina with Mario Peach. So, oh my god, her... <laughs> her breasts jiggle when you hit her. So yes, I guess Valentina looks a lot more seductive looking than, <laughs> than we thought she was. And also, she's a lot taller for some weird reason. Like, that's what I never got with, like, older Final Fantasy games. Like, older Square games. Like, how come there's, like, sun enemies that are just, like, huge in size? And then, like, you know, when you face them in battle, they're smaller than what they appear. And then this one's, like, the opposite. Like, Valentina's, like, Mario's height, and she's just, like, a lot smaller. Dodo, how could you lose already? Get over here already. Oh no. Solidify. Uh, Gino, pick me up on Peach. Peach, group hug on everyone. I don't know why I was failing that earlier. Okay, apparently that's really hard to block. Drain Beam. Dang, that's one powerful Drain Beam. Alright, let's do Geno Blast. And then we'll uh, start boosting. Hmm. Not sure how much HP Dodo has. I mean, it would be nice to find out, but I don't know. I notice that Mario spins around when he jumps, when he does this uh, super jump. Oh, I, I now I you see I wasn't the only one that noticed that he texts twice sometimes. Petal Blast. This is a Pokemon, but... Oh boy. That almost, like, killed everyone. Alright, let's do another group hug. Alright, and... Pa Valentina... Oh my god, this isn't... Alright, we're gonna boost Mario here. There we go, got the right timing, so Mario's uh, stats boosted. Sorry about that, getting interrupted. Alright, let's do some Gino up. Oh, Peach needs to heal herself. I just realized that. How the hell is she taking this much damage? Alright, Peach will probably be much better later on. When we, uh, get a item that I have actually been really wanting to get for a while. 
Right, Gino boost on Peach. So that she doesn't die as quick. That one was kind of slow, honestly. Wait, okay. Alright, see, now we're taking half damage, so... Oh, Dodo's done? I was, like, wondering, like, why isn't he, like, dying? Like, why can't I go in and attack him? I don't believe this. This show's over, folks. Dodo, let's get out of here. Well, everyone, until we meet again. <laughs> and there she goes. Great, they're gone. Hurry, let's go after her. I know she has the key. Ah! And of course, the key. Well, wow, Mallow really went. Oh, Mallow really went through that castle fast, and Mario apparently has Peach's umbrella. He knew what was going to happen. All right, so we get to meet the real king and queen. And Mallow has his mom's looks, I guess, because of the pink hair. Mom, Dad. I'd like you to meet Mario, and my other travel companions. I say, how can we ever thank you enough? I'm Mallow's father, King Nimbus. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for looking after my dear child. Allow me to introduce everyone. This is Princess Toltu from the Mushroom Kingdom. Ah, I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? Don't embarrass, Junior, dear. Oh, never mind. And who is this gentleman over here? This is Mario. He helped me from the start. I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't mean the Mario. Jumping Mario? Autograph, please? That's quite enough, dear. Oh, he's a fanboy. Okay, okay. Then, how about just showing a little jump? A tiny hop will do. I mean, that's probably the biggest jump Mario's given so far, honestly. Oh, fantastic! Show me again later. Ahem. And who is... who do we have over here? This is Bowser, leader of the Koopa Troop. Oh, another famous person. This is just too much. May I... I must have your autograph. Dear, behave yourself, please. No, not even a little scribble? Okay, okay. Yes, I'm quite forgetting matters. Well, who do we have over here? This is Gino, who I told you about before. Oh, yes, the story about the Star Street. How awful. That's Star Road. <laughs> I guess this is the running joke that Gino has to correct everyone about Star Road. By the way, a little before Valentina took over, a large star fell into the volcano. Hmm. But the dreaded Sizer dragon inhabits that volcano. It's going to be tough to getting a star out of there. And perhaps all of you working together could at least handle the beast. Why, when I was young, I... Yes, dear. Now, once set the volcano, find Hinopio. He'll help you find. God dang it. You be careful, Mallow. Okay, Mom. But I probably won't come back until we find the star. Alright. Uh. So, I wonder if we could exit from the back again. Actually, does it still have a star? Oh, no, no, no. That was a flower tab. Right? So yeah, we have to go through here again, and Mario also makes the same face that he did when we saw Exor. Which is hilarious. And? You are the- Hi, you're the real prince. Sorry for misunderstanding before. There's no way that fat bird could have the prince, huh? No big deal. Anyway, you think you can let us through? Of course. Go ahead, please enjoy yourselves, but don't fall into the volcano. Oh, we're gonna have to do anyways. And? Believe like staying here for a while. Yeah, Mario gets all red. Danger beyond the cliffs is a volcano. And.
and... Oh yeah, you burned, I forgot. We got some new enemies too! These are upgrade enemies from the mines, actually. It has been a while since we've seen them, and we got the armored ants from earlier. Oh, and lucky, nice. And by the way, I found this out, like, from watching a video the other day, that apparently the, uh... There's two different regular hammers. One's a lucky hammer, and the other one is, like... Uh, like, the regular hammer you get in the beginning. Like, you always get the lucky, no matter what, from the hammer. And it's in, a, I believe, Seaside Town. So I guess that's something new. Uh, that, that, you know, I just found out about the game. Thanks to, you know, obviously the internet finding it out first. Which is pretty crazy now that, like, that nobody noticed this for years. Like, why, why the hammers are are basically the same thing, but also so different. Like, nobody would have thought to use that hammer that said that it's a lucky hammer. Unless, like, they really wanted to give themselves a challenge. Alright. Where is Yoshi? Ah, oh, fuck. Was it the middle? Okay, it was the time. And we get no experience. Well, shit. Let's take on another one. I'm pretty sure there's another new enemy here. And yes, there is. It's another upgrade. And it's the Orca Loin. The Orlickelon? That's weirder. They're getting weirder and weirder names, these names. Alright, at least they don't have much HP. But they do have a quite a lot of defense. And these guys, these guys with the... These guys in the back definitely have a lot of valor up. By the way, this is a testing episode of sorts to see how my microphone is. So if it's a little too loud or too quiet, then uh, I'll probably see what I can do in the next few episodes. Actually, we should use Gino there. Oh wow, we missed the timing for that. I actually just realized these ones have like tiny little mini ones that attack with them. Alright, Geno Blast. Let's see. Holy shit. Yeah, so specials definitely do a lot more damage to these guys. Oh. It's a Dry Bones. And yes, they're back as... Oh, and we got another... Oh, these are called Bombers now, and we have the Chain Con. Uh, if you were to use Mouth... Not Mouth. Uh, Mallow on this guy, he'd also reference something about Donkey Kong. Like, there's a theory going around that, like, Smithy... I think I mentioned this in the episode where we first saw, like, the former Chain Kongs that were in the Forest Maze. That, uh... The only reason why that these Kongs exist is because K. Will, like, whatever family members K. Will found, he, like, shipped them off to Smithy. Or, like, whoever he had. I don't know. Like, whoever he met with. And, like, some of them got loose. Let's do sleepy time. Uh, please, sheeps. <laughs> I, that's hilarious. That the sheep just murders the the bomber. Yeah, you could literally farm him to death. Okay, flower tab. But yeah, the, definitely some interesting lore. I do believe that I did share it before, but just in case I didn't. That the, like it's just a theory. I'm, but then again, the like. That's just a theory. Oh my god, I don't want to get into that whole thing. That did one damage. That's so sad. And double. 
that looks very creepy, honestly. But yeah, I'm uh, really honestly excited to finish off this game, because I am really excited for my next Let's Play. And I already have the profile picture finished for it, and I do plan on, you know, obviously getting the cover picture ready as well. And double again. Or is it double? Can't really tell. If the mic is also sensitive, I would like that feedback as well, just in case I don't notice anything. Actually, I should have Gino attack that other thing from earlier. Uh, Peach. Let's do group hug. Mario, I think jump could just kill this thing, honestly. Yep. Perfect. Lose all your coins or double it. Of course, it was in the middle. Oh well. This is the freest coin block ever, because these things aren't going to chase after us. It's hilarious how I just run into it. Wow, he literally hit down by 1 HP. Well, at least Peach did that one damage that we needed. I like, I actually like the music for this area. Oh, <coughs> oh my god, there's something... Whoa, what was that? Did not actually see what that was. Actually, hold on. Do believe that there's something up here. Oh, never mind, there isn't. What that enemy doesn't reload? Whatever it was, it was quite big, and I don't know what it was. Got another bomber and a chained Kong. Screw it, Gina World. Yeah, this move is fucking busted. <laughs> Actually, we could use sleepy time. Oh well. I mean, we could also use a holy water or whatever. Yeah, pure water. I mean, technically it is holy water, if you really think about it. Oh, boy. Screw it, Gino Bless. I don't know why, I prefer this move over Gino, uh... Wait, Gino, Gino Flash over Gino Blast? I'm not sure, I forgot which one's which. Bowser has gained a level up. Bowser Crush, actually we're gonna switch over to Bowser probably. To see what that's about. So, switch over Gino for Bowser. Because I do want to test out that move. Not sure about Mallow, actually. Does Mallow have any new moves? I believe he might. Oh, Fireball's trying to attack us. Oh, this was the giant thing that we ran into. So, we have uh, Bowser Crush. And you have a giant Mecha Koopa attacking, and holy shit, that does a lot of damage. Mal, let's see what he... Okay, we have Snowy, so we're going to restore uh, everything afterwards. We got Lucky Jewel and a Bracer, so... These are some crazy items that we have now. Let's heal up, and now Mario, let's finish off that fireball. So I want to see what the... Oh, we got a freebie. Uh, this is the Cork... A pit pedite, I'm not sure, and its body, and we have the pyrosphere, so and another upgraded enemy. Once again, ooh. Oh, and its body is the last thing, it has my Oh Bowser, oh my god, thank god Bowser blocked that. Mario grew up to level 18 and he learned Ultra Flame. That's Mario's last move that he could basically learn. And Mal grew up to level 18 he learned Star Rain. And this one's also another crazy move. Peach learned Psych Bomb. So yeah, everybody's basically learning like their final attack. So we're going to show off Mal's uh, next two attacks in that afterwards. 
Bowser really needs a new upgrade, actually. I'm surprised, actually. Mal does more damage than Peach. Then again, Peach is more of a support than a... Dang. Try getting that. Oh, damn. Well, I'm just gonna keep trying getting it, but first let's get rid of this guy. Alright, uh, Bowser, defend. Alright, here we go. Sno first up, Snowy. I believe we actually did this one. Yeah, we did. Alright, we'll still do Star Rain afterwards. Because Star Rain actually is one of the coolest looking moves in the game. In my opinion. But I think we might do... Oh, Dino also grew up to level 18. I'm pretty sure you already learned his uh, best attack. Let's give him HP as well, why not? Give him a more uh, special attack later. Dang, what the hell? Like, how do you grab that? Alright, anyways, we'll do that in the next episode. Anyways, love my videos with a like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Next time on Super RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, we're going to uh, go through the rest of the volcano.